Selling sick puppies, the Humane Society releasing undercover videos showing disturbing conditions at a half dozen Petland stores, including one in Sarasota. I-Team reporter Jackie Calloway showing us how these new findings echo what an ABC Action News investigation found just two years ago. Jackie? The Humane Society sent an undercover operative in to work at six different Petland stores between last September and this April, armed with hidden cameras. They say document a pattern of failure to treat sick and dying puppies. Take a look at these videos and photos taken at Petland stores in Sarasota and five other locations across the country. Investigators with the Humane Society of the United States releasing the footage, which they say shows sick puppies with conditions ranging from seizures and respiratory infections to diarrhea and vomiting. <laughs> The new findings come two years after the I-Team first exposed sick puppies for sale at Petland stores and their devastated owners. It makes me furious. That's, that makes me the maddest. Sarah told us two years ago how she wound up spending thousands of dollars to save Bonnabelle days after paying four grand for the puppy at Petland in Sarasota. The same store now under scrutiny by the Humane Society. I was assured that I would be getting a healthy dog. Several owners who bought puppies at Petland's Largo store have complained their dogs nearly died in the days after the sale. Double pneumonia in both her lungs, a double ear infection. Now the Humane Society alleges puppies frequently sick in the Sarasota store and employees showing sick puppies to customers for sale. Petland's corporate office is responding to our request for comment this afternoon. A company spokeswoman calls the Humane Society a politically motivated fundraising group and says the welfare of all of their pets is the number one priority and that they work closely with veterinarians and state and federal inspectors. Jackie, thank you.